as, as someone who knows Sean's his, the way he runs the training camp, how, how important do you believe mental mental physical toughness is part of the, the kind of the fabric of he wants of his team? And can that be developed out here? Can you see it start to develop out? Here? Yeah, I mean we go. Our schedule, when you talk around to guys around the league, like our schedule is probably the most, if you want to say, like brutal, um, with how many days in a row we go and how hard we practice. And it's a it's a great thing. Obviously, Sean's had a lot of success with it, uh, practicing that way. And really, we talk about and you talk about the mental um, focus that it takes to come out here every single day, the mental toughness, and that's really what we develop out here, going day in and day out. We callous ourselves, which is what we like to say. Um, but yeah, I think it's beneficial. I think it's great to have a day like this where it's like, especially when you have new special teams rules like the kickoff, kickoff return, like, hey, let's get it live and see what it feels like before we go into even just Indianapolis in the preseason um, and see what it's like. Greg Dulcichelby, what, what does he look, out, look like out there, especially from a tight end's perspective? Yeah, he looks great. He looks explosive. He looks fast. Um, you know, I, it's a very hard position to be in when you're injured and not even when you're just injured, when you're away from the team, when you're on IR, you're not around anybody, you're doing your own thing. Greg, last season, credit him, like when he's fighting all of his injuries, like he's in here until 8 o'clock. He's the last one here doing all of his treatment and everything. And, um, you know, like I'm really proud of him. I'm good friends with him. Uh, and it's great to see him come out here and be like, yeah, that's what, that's what, you, that's what you looked like last year before you got injured. And... Um, you know, he's continuing to get better. Obviously, he's got to get back into, like, just football mode because he's been out of it for a little bit. Um, but credit to him, he's worked his, he's worked his tail off, and um, I'm super proud of him. And uh, it makes me happy to see him, you know, come out here and make plays and and uh, continue to progress. Adam, you've where been have you seen Jarrett get better um, from, from last year? Obviously, you, you worked with him behind the scenes a lot last year. Where, where have you seen him improve as a quarterback? Um, I think he's so decisive. Like he sees, he, he understands coverage as well. He's very, um, he's got great control of the huddle as well. And there's a confidence that goes into that as an offense when you step in the huddle with someone who's like, hey, this is what we're doing. Hey, listen up. Like someone who's really in control of it. Um, and I'd say decisiveness. Like he's always been, he's always had, a, he, like he's always been able to make the throws and everything, but like he's very tuned in to, hey, this isn't going to be here. Let's get to the next progression, whatever. So um, he looks great. You've been around Lucas Kroll for most of the time since he came into the league. What have you seen him do differently this year than maybe he wasn't last year? Than the year? Um, I think naturally he's always been super gifted, very fast. He's obviously a bigger guy, um, but more attention to detail. Like he was when I when he came in his rookie year, I was in New Orleans with him. Obviously, he was kind of raw and just kind of like he played the position, but. The intricacies of it, he didn't really have too much, like, he wasn't very locked into them as much. Now it's way different. Like, he knows exactly what he's seeing. He knows what he's doing. Um, he's willing in the run game now to put his head in there and everything, which is a huge thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's progressed. Like, I've talked about Greg. Like, Lucas has done a, a hell of a job as well. How's Bo do in recognizing things and making adjustments? He's doing great. I think the biggest thing with him um, – People talk about all the games he started in college, obviously. Like, I think that truly means something. You see it in the way he commands a huddle and the way he steps up into the pocket where he can find his voids and his throwing lanes. Like, That's an experience thing. And a lot of guys coming out might not have that because they played in 20, 30 games. Those played I mean, like 60, 61, whatever it is. So, um, I mean, he's, he's obviously been doing very well. Sean asked a lot of his quarterbacks at the line of scrimmage, especially like even in the run game, is that it? Is that a challenge for Bo or Jared? How does that play out for you guys in terms of the run game and them getting you guys in the right play? Yeah, I think um, our coaching staff has done a great job simplifying like our, our identification system at the line of scrimmage and everything like that. Um, and it's made it like the quarterbacks are going through it really well. And, and they, I mean, they've done a really good job. So, um, but that's a credit to the coaching staff. They, they've really cleared things up for us and what it's been in the past to make it Flow, flow better as an so offense. It's different than maybe even a year ago? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah, okay. for sure. I don't know, Adam Lowe also it? seems willing to kind of make those tight window throws. Is that, does that also stand out in terms of a rookie and kind of a normal ability to do that sort of thing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, th there comes a point where you want, obviously, someone to be smart with the ball and checking it down and everything, but it also shows, like, I mean, you want to play with someone who's a game, like, he can, he can do that stuff, like, and, and it makes you feel good about it. Like, he's willing to take the, I don't want to say risk, but he's willing to do it. So, um, 
yeah, I think that also obviously comes from experience. He's seen all these windows because of how much he's played. Adam, Last thing for Nick. Adam, what's a nuance of your position or an aspect of your position that maybe the general football watching public doesn't fully appreciate? Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think, um, I guess, like the mental capacity it takes to play this position. Obviously, some guys might be more receiving than blocking, blocking than receiving, but tight end, I would say, and people would probably argue with me about this in the locker room, but <laughs> mentally, <laughs> mentally, like, O-line, I'd say center, it goes quarterback, center, and I would say tight ends next. Like, you have to know run game, pass game, protection, and you gotta be damn good at all of it um, to last in this league. So, I would say people don't realize that. And then you go into games and generally the guys you're blocking are bigger than you, stronger than you. Like, that's just how it is. Um, so, there, I mean, there's so many different technique things you gotta, like, in our division, think about Max Crosby, Cleo Mack, Joey Bosa, um, George Call off this, Mike Dana, like these guys, like they're terrific players and they're bigger, stronger than you, but like how you go in and attack a film room and you're like, hey, this is what this guy likes to do against this, like picking up on tendencies and everything. I think people, it's very cerebral. Do I don't you, think people realize that. Do you get um, frustrated that Fantasy League uh, tends to uh, measure tight ends sometimes? Uh, you know, whoever gets the Fantasy League points, people think they're the best tight ends. Yeah, th thanks for asking that. Yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> I really could give a I, – I couldn't care less about uh, fantasy. I mean, you, you, yeah, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> not necessarily a Fantasy League no, tight end. No, and, and, I, and people, obviously a lot of the general public, I think, would see that, and they, th they gauge a lot of how good you are off of fantasy. But – but I mean, you don't really, yeah, that's not really how it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> call it what it is.